Hello everyone, this is John Williamson. I'm the Executive Director and Founder of Food Rescue and K-12 Food Rescue. And today we're going to make a video on helping hands end hunger um, in Georgia. And we're going to share um, the impact of their program um, on our live impact dashboard. So when you go to foodrescue.net, um, if you go up to the free tracking tool and you click on live impact dashboard, it will take you to this URL, which is up here. Uh, foodrescue.net slash live impact dashboard and if you scroll down the first thing the first screen that you're going to going to see uh, we can pull up here to the menu select one and as we scroll down first of all you're going to see that all the impact on the right includes all the schools that have used the tracking tool around the country and it has the totals of total items of food donated as well as uh, pounds of carbon dioxide equivalents um, that are kept from entering in the environment as a result of all these schools and their programs um, for rescuing food in different ways. So we can see, we click on here, Helping Hands Ending Hunger School Chapters, and we left click on it. And we wait for it to uh, reset. It does take 24 hours once you enter all of our items on our tool to, um, interesting, let's see what happened here. Let's try again. Usually that comes right up. Ah, there it is. So you see that the, she entered in, or uh, Carla, the uh, CEO of the of the uh, Helping Hands End Hunger um, organization, entered in 1.8 over 1.8 million food items using the tool, and that uh, gives the uh, CO2e results. Um, they actually started their program um, sending unopened and unpeeled food, unopened and unpeeled food items. Um, home in insulated backpacks with students um, in Georgia and they were able to make um, tremendous progress with policy um, in Georgia where they actually are recognized as an organization that can help schools do this and they're growing very rapidly and I happened to read their story on a Google Alerts that I get on food waste and uh, talked about our tracking tool and had a great conversation with Carla and an upcoming conversation I'm going to have with uh, Sophie, who's um, the student leader who was highly involved in this. And um, they entered all their information into our tool. So I'm kind of making this video to show all the tool will do, not only to everyone, but also for helping hands end hunger. So not only do you get this graphic um, that you can download and share, um, if you left click on, I should, I should get this where everyone can see it, not just me. So let's move this up. Here we go. So if I were to left click on this di dial or this icon here, you can see that it can be shared in an email, on Twitter, or on Facebook. And we'll click out of that. And then we can move over to the icon here where we can download the um, the image left click on image you can see that you can download it as a PDF or into a PowerPoint if I left click on image and then download probably won't show where it is but it's let's see if I can get that on my screen somewhere probably not um, no so but it's all the way it comes all the way down to the left hand corner of your screen you open it up and and it shows up as a JPEG that you can share on um, social media. You can share it as um, uh, any presentation that you're going to make. Um, just a very valuable tool to communicate the impact of your program. So I'm going to click out of that JPEG, and it's going to take me back to the website itself. Um, and we're going to go back to this. Uh, you can go if you click on that icon. You can see it comes up full screen. And we actually have many tutorial videos on how to use the, the uh, tool, and then there's all kinds of information on other schools and their data um, down below. So let's continue on with this tutorial, and let's left click on the social um, icon up here, and it gives you a whole different um, JPEG that you can share. And as you can see, it's got helping hands in ending hunger, hunger school chapters. Um, and all their totals for their food items, but it also converts it into meals. And there's the CO2e total, and this one has the uh, our sponsored uh, Zero Hunger Zero Waste from Kroger. They sponsor our tracking tool, 
and you can share that um, out with others to inspire everyone about um, about the program. Now, up here in the start date, um, had these been entered in over a two-year period and monthly, you would be able to adjust the start date, um, and as soon as you released it, it would give you a new total. Now that won't do that in this case because they were all entered in at one time um, for the two-year period, but that that is flexible. And if you continue to move that start date and end date, it'll give you uh, moments in time for how much food was being rescued. And they can also, if they have 25 schools involved as an estimate currently, they could also uh, have one tool for every single school um, that would be showing the individual school totals and then they would have the ability to grab all 25 schools in one um, area and we'll show you how that can be done. So we're going to left click on detailed up here and in the case of uh, helping hands ending hunger they did not use the detailed tracking where they said how many items were dairy, dry goods, fruit, juice, milk, etc. Um, they simply entered in, um, well, they, they, there's, they, maybe they did, they, they, they're 63% dry goods, 37% miscellaneous items, but if they wanted to get even more detail, they could have done that. That does take a little more time. Many people just choose to enter in um, just very minimal data um, to get these totals for food items and carbon dioxide equivalents. It's really whatever you want to do and how, how much detail you want to get out of the tool. But um, if we wanted to add other schools, um, you can see that we, we've, we're clicking on school here. We can go to the, um, the menu up here and we could add, if we wanted to, let's just give an example of how we can add schools together. We could add Beachside Montessori in, in uh, Florida. Um, we could add Crestview Elementary in Lawrence, Indiana, and we could add, um, let's just go down to Flat Rock Elementary in Virginia, and then we would left click apply, and the first thing we notice is that the totals change over here, and if I go back up here to the social icon, do you see how it added these schools here? So it shows you know we have the ability to not only do this as an individual school but you can also take all of your schools all at once and um, get that snapshot in time and the impact as well and then you have the ability of course to share those graphics as we talked about now tool 3.0 is coming and it's far more diverse than the one that is food the tracking tool 2.0 um, but I wanted to make this video just to show um, you know what it, what this tool does beyond simply getting your totals back immediately in an email it does send you some information back immediately but within 24 hours you are in the system um, and when I say in the system you are one of many schools that are using the tool and you're able to communicate the impact of what are we all doing together rather than just um, as an individual organization or an individual school district. We can communicate with, with everyone around the country what kids are doing relating to uh, rescuing food in many different ways, whether it be share tables, in-school food pantries, donating directly to food pantries, or sending home with students uh, in backpacks. So I hope that you, everyone found this video um, valuable. We'd like to give a shout out to Helping Hands in Hunger for their amazing organization. Let's go back to um, to that, uh, let's see, there it is, Helping Hands in Hunger. You can see what they've done. Amazing that one organization is impacting one state of Georgia as much as they are. So if you're in Georgia and you want to reach out to Helping Hands uh, in Hunger, um, just uh, send me an email at jw.foodrescue.net and I will connect you uh, with, Carla, with uh, Carla and Sophie and uh, they would love to talk to your school about getting involved and adding to these totals in Georgia and uh, getting kid empowering kids to lead the food is not trash movement around the country thanks again for watching